Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and this is the second video of the Advanced Wall series. Uh, in the last video, we created the wall number 4434 according to the uh, Canadian Wood Conceal R calculator. Uh, today, we are going to create a schematic to show the layers such as in this picture. Uh, before doing that, how about I actually uh, create these two layers which had a thickness of like zero, that one and that one, uh, because when I uh, create parts and separate the layers, I need to see them to be able to tag them. So, uh, how about I go here, edit type, edit, and uh, the layer that I was missing, there's one here, polyethylene, uh, which is the vapor barrier, and it's right below uh, the framing. So, uh, I can click here, insert that one. I want to go here to the materials and copy this. And I want to create a new material, rename it as polyethylene. Let's go to the asset browser, polyethylene. There we go, I can grab this one. And uh, as I mentioned, I don't want this layer, the vapor barrier, I don't want it to affect the R value calculations because it's zero here. So the easiest way to do that is actually just uh, get rid of the thermal properties. So I'm going to remove this, remove it. Okay, now polyethylene is added and uh, no matter what thickness you assign, it's not going to affect the resistance. Maybe I would go with like one millimeter. Uh, and then you can do the same with uh, that layer, layer number five. You see we have 11 layers here. And if I go here, we have 13. That's because we also have uh, layer seven and nine, which are not considered. So it's going to add up to 11 layers. Okay. Okay. In order to show the studs, the easiest way to go in Revit is actually using a type of curtain walls. So I'm going to go to the architectural wall. Uh, how about I go with the storefront? I'm going to draw a wall here uh, with the same length maybe, which is 10 meters in this case. Okay. Now in this wall, First, I can uh, change the top constraint to level 2. Okay, that seems better. And uh, now I would like to uh, change the glass part with the insulation and the mullions with the studs. For now, we don't know if there is uh, any horizontal grid. Okay, so I can go to edit type. First, I need to uh, duplicate this wall. I can name it, say, 2 by 6 plus that insulation. Okay. Uh, so, in this case, for the horizontal grid, which is that one, let's see what happens if I go with uh, known. And then for the vertical grid, which are these ones, we want them to be every 24 inches uh, center by center of the stud. So I can assign 24 inches here. That 24 comes from the specifications of the wall here, 24 inches between the studs. And this is going to be a fixed distance actually. Okay. Uh, I want to change this system panel to solid for now, and I'm going to show you how we can take care of that. That seems good. Fixed distance. And then we can change the mullions a bit later, right? Uh, you see, you can click on the menu, but we don't have any wood, actually. So I'm going to create the wood studs separately as the mullions, and then it's going to be added to this menu. Okay. Okay, and the project browser, I want to scroll down, go to 
uh, families, I'm going to go to the curtain panels, system panel, solid. If you double click on that, it's going to open. We're going to duplicate. This is going to be solid and this is going to be the bat insulation. Okay, so uh, this type of the curtain panel is going to be added to our list on that other menu after we create it. So the amount of offset should be zero uh, because we want it to align with the studs. The material, you can assign the bat insulation that we had created. Okay, so I'm going to assign this one. And the thickness is the same as the thickness of the studs, which is six inches. I'm going to leave the rest for now. All looks good. Okay. Now, it seems that nothing happened, but actually, if you go to this wall, go to the type, and then go to the curtain panel, click here, you see the solid bat insulation is added to this menu. Okay. Uh, so that was for the panels. And next, I would like to create some mullions made out of wood for the 2x6 studs. And I would like to assign them to um, uh, the mullions here. Okay. Just like what we did for the panels, if I go to curtain wall mullions, this is going to be rectangle mullions. Uh, how about I select the 50 by 150, double click, duplicate, and I want to go by 2 by 6 wood stud. Okay, uh, the profile is rectangular, that's okay. The thickness is actually 6 inches, so I can go with 6 inches here. And the width uh, is actually 2 inches on one side, and I'm going to put 0 on the other side, because if I put 2 inches on each side, it's going to create two studs next to each other, but there is actually one stud, right? Or you can go with one inch and one inch. So it's going to add up to two inches. Okay, this seems good. For the material, I need to change this. I can double check. Maybe I have already a wood stud here. I have wood siding, but I don't have any wood stud. So I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to rename it as wood stud. And I can go to the browser. Uh, that's the timber, right? So let's see what we have under timber. Wood. Wood here. Panels. Particle board. Uh, I'm gonna go with one of these. I can change the graphics to look more like the studs. Okay. And okay. So that's gonna be the material uh, 2 inch by 6 inch. Okay. Now, uh, if I go select this wall, go to the type. If I go to the mullions, I can assign the 2x6 wood stud that I created to all of them. Okay. If you want the top part to be continuous, you can click on these panels and click on this little sign in here it was actually the other one i can select this one for instance and click on this and it's going to make them continuous at the top right so it automatically doesn't know which side you want to consider continuous uh, by default it just consider the vertical ones continuous but if you want the horizontal ones to be continuous you can select the panels and in this case, we have to do them one by one. 
and you can do this for any parts uh, of the mullions on the other sides as well. So you get the idea. We can do it for the bottom as well. Okay. So far we only have the structure in the middle, right? We don't have the two sides of the wall. In this case, uh, we have to actually add the two sides manually. So uh, let's go to level one. How about I put the two side by side, WT. There we go. So this is only this layer, framing field with insulation. Uh, I want to have all those other layers, so I'm going to need one wall for the exterior and one wall for the interior. Here I can go to the wall, architectural, and then select this wall, edit type, duplicate. This is this wall, only it's the exterior side. Okay, and I can go to edit. I want to get rid of all these layers, so all the finishes on the interior. Can just delete them. I already have the main structure, so I want to delete this one too. Uh, if it does not delete that, it's because you cannot leave it without this uh, without this structure. So I want to move this down, and this is going to be my structure. Now I can delete this one. Okay, so now this is only the exterior side of the wall. It seems good. Uh, you can also check the preview. Okay. Okay. Now I want to draw it on this side to be the exterior. I can change this to uh, finish face interior. So I can start from uh, this side, which is going to be the interior of the new wall. I can click here, move down, and click here. And again, it can go only up to level 2, right? So it's getting more uh, realistic here. For the other side as well, I want to go to Wall Architectural. I want to select that wall, Edit Type, Duplicate, and uh, I want to put IN for the interior. OK. Edit. This time, I want to get rid of the exterior side. Uh, layers so delete 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 okay uh, the reason you see this delete is inactive is that you have to assign uh, some material to the structure um, I can consider this gypsum wall to be a structure of this wall so that's going to be a structure and maybe I can move this um, polyethylene the vapor barrier up and all the way up and this structure can go here and then now I can get rid of this one so this seems all good okay and okay and again I can go with finish face interior and draw from here to here And I need to change this to up to level 2. Okay, so we are getting a bit close to um, what we are looking for. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can separate the layers to show uh, what we have here.